up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to National Unsigned. We are hanging out with our business partners, and I will introduce them in a second, but we're covering all things digital and music news and resources for the independent community. Jump over to YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and search National Unsigned Podcast on Apple Podcasts. Don't forget about that Spotify, though, Don't Amber. We got to hop on that Spotify. We got we the keep, playlist. We keep it fresh and updated. Oh, you you guys got to check that out. Um, so this is Nick Brown. Everybody. What's up, everybody? I'm Amber Soman, Jared Rigsby. Hey. And Patrick Larney. Hey. And so Nashville Unsigned, if you guys have not gone yet, jump over to the site, NashvilleUnsigned.com. Build your profile. We are a one-stop shop for independent, all things independent, digital magazine, label services, independent live events, um, and then also publishing services, which is new. And it's also home of the largest independent community in the city, digital and physical. You're welcome in advance. Come join, guys. Hashtag join the movement. Build your profile. Put your information in. Give them a little, a little something about the new stuff with the website. Oh yeah, well uh, we actually perfect timing. We we actually recently updated the website. Uh, we had a lot of feedback. People wanting to uh, you know upload their music, upload their photos to the Nashville and Sign community. So uh, we made it happen, guys. Go in there and uh, you know we've we've had a lot of people come back and you know upload uh, their music and we've been checking. So you just it build out. a profile. Yep, That's build it. a profile. Come say hey. Yeah, Here's definitely. Cool yeah, stuff off the world. Yeah, just Hi. sign up in there and. Get up on up in there and yeah. make yourself a profile. Yeah. But yeah, once you have that, I mean, you it shows up as a page um, on Google, so that's really important to know. So, you guys come hang out with us in Nashville and signed. Skip all that extra stuff. So today we're kind of talking, talking about, about networking. Networking. How to network? What is networking? What does it look like in the music industry? What does it look like for an independent artist? And what do you need? And more specifically, we're talking about once you're there and how to find the actual networking event. Once you're where? Um, wherever you are. Where the networking <laughs> event is, of Yeah, because right. <laughs> we're going to do two different episodes. This episode is all about physical networking events and mm. where to physically go face-to-face -face with people. Oh, the meat world? Is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> the meat world. Outside yes. the matrix. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Your digital music presence and comes then, into the meat world. Yeah, the <laughs> next uh, the next episode will be uh, digital communities and how to network um, digitally. So yeah, we're going to cyber cover world. Both. Cyber realm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, where do you usually find your networking um, events? Because um, you are like absolutely the queen of networking. If I, you guys uh, didn't know, um, but she's always like she's always been the one. I like, love it, dude. Yeah. She drags I, us along to all kinds of networking. I events. do. I, I would have never. I make known everybody about. go with me. Actually, like I, I even make my friends that are not even in the same industry go yeah, with me. <laughs> it's so much fun. I'm like, come. But you know what it is? I I truly feel like that networking is building friendships. And I love the shit out of people, honestly. You guys know that. If you've been to a networking event, I'm like, love it. I'm just like, yay, mm -hmm. people, everybody. It's a superpower. You it's friendship. You meet you. But, um, yeah, I think it's just friendship. I think it's building friendships. and not, Instead of, like, the networking thing, it's, like, it's yeah. just building relationships. Right. right? I think, yeah, I think that's a super important way to, to look at it. Um, it. First of all, for those of you with social anxiety, like, uh, I, I get bouts of it sometimes. I don't know about you guys, but... Take um, back uh, some whiskey. Yeah, take back some whiskey. <laughs> Insert <laughs> And uh, remember that everybody's here. just... <laughs> <laughs> they're just humans you're talking to. Other, uh, other meat puppets, you might say. <laughs> yeah. They don't have, like, interests um, and hobbies and passions. Yeah, yeah. I think the goal is really to make friends, not just to, um, you know, try and make your way up some invisible ladder, which yeah. I don't even I know what that, that means. I think that one, like, one, of, one of the things that um, people get nervous about when they're thinking about networking is <clears throat> they want to further their career in a certain way and obviously, right. you know, connect with people who know more than them. Mm -hmm. And so there's this kind of inner thing that says I, I don't know if i'm good enough or whatever to get out there yeah which is yeah. um you know i don't want to embarrass myself if i go there and talk to these people and i think that's some where maybe yeah. some of the anxiety comes from yeah but i'd love to 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 point out something that i think is really important about the physical world and networking which is that when you're going out to network um that is what you're looking for is somebody that knows more than you but what you should be talking about has actually has nothing to do with um, oh, yeah, the, uh, with with actually what you're trying profession. to get to. <laughs> yeah. Because networking, the first two instances is about, like Amber said, making friends, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. like so fishing? if that takes any of the anxiety 
off. Like, yeah. go out there and talk to somebody about their life. Um, I think it's it's a turn off when uh, somebody rolls up to you and says, "Hey, I'm a singer. Uh, we should work together." Mm-hmm. It's like, come on, man. You, you just can't talk about roll get- up on somebody yeah. and ask for something. That's like 101 networking 101. If you roll up on anybody and start asking for something immediately, you probably should just go ahead and walk away because <laughs> yeah. you already shot yourself <laughs> in the foot. The first Seriously. stages of networking is, is getting to know who the other person is. And one of the things that I do um, that I've learned it's been helpful for me is when I meet somebody because I am the worst at remembering names. Oh man. So me too. it just it's, me too. and it's not you know and I know your whole story. I, I know that your you're face forever. Yeah, I know that right. you have, you know, a, a, a wiener dog or whatever 15 mm-hmm. years later, you know, yeah. I can remember that, but yeah. anyway, the name is so so important and one of the things that I do is I say, "Hey man," and then I I gotten into the habit of knowing like if they say, "Hey, you know, my name's Tim." I say, "Hi, I'm Patrick. Nice to meet you, Tim." Mm. Say that That's say that thinking. name straight away. And then when you, they leave, you're like, "Bye, Tim. It was really yeah, nice yeah, to yeah. meet you." Yeah. yeah. But don't, don't make it creepy though. Be like, yeah, hey, yeah. Tim. How to win friends and influence I, people has nice two really you, important Tim. things. And it's a, a person's name as as sweet to them as honey. Mm. So they really love to hear their name back to them. Um, that is a really great book, especially jumping into networking. Yeah. Probably equip yeah. yourself with an inspirational book and understanding what people need from you. So go in willing to give versus willing to go take from the whole room that's not your goal your goal is to just go in there and find out about as many people as you possibly can and then circle back around because that's because stuff's going to come down the road but if you try to open with it it's never going to come because think about it this way you're going to this event so that you can improve your business Mm -hmm. that's that's what your desire is yeah the other person is there for the same reason to improve their business (laughs) so What can you do for them is probably a better thing to present than like, hey, what can you do for me? I think you hit on a really good point about um, what can I learn from you? Um, yeah. Because often when you think of networking, you're thinking of what can I get from these people? Yeah. But you never think of that as like, maybe I don't know as much as I thought I knew. And maybe the... I can get knowledge from these yeah. people. Yeah. Um, I think that will take... First of all, it gives you kind of position of humbleness, right? Uh, some humility, you know. Um, of course, you want to be confident. Um, don't I think far too many people take humility for um, self-deprecation. It's, yeah. it's not that. It's be confident, but be humble. Don't just brag about yourself. But when you're listening um, to people, they they can tell. And when you're actually truly listening, that's when you're like learning from them. Um, people want to talk about themselves, yeah, and that's another yeah. thing. And it takes like, the weight they off love your their shoulders. name, and they love to talk about themselves again. Um, how to win friends and influence people. Like they just, if if you're allowing them to do those things, you're registering in your mind, what do they do? What do they need? What do I have in my arsenal and my resources? And who can I sync with them? So go in again to give. Like that's probably my favorite thing to do, mm. weirdly enough, is just to go into a room of people and meet as p- many people yeah. as I can, learn as learn See about as many people as I can. And then as they're telling me what they do, I'm like, oh, I need to sync you with like so and so like it's somebody that really needs the other person. So right. I think going into those situations again, like with with having giving on the mind i think it makes it less intimidating it gives you a reason to send an email as well if you're helping somebody else somebody once said um the best way to be successful is to help other people be successful yeah yeah and malcolm gladwell love that right remember his last name malcolm gladwell (laughs) um has five different personalities and amber is like the epitome of the connector and basically what that means is that you know, she has this kind of Google mind and I, I aspire to have the same mind maybe someday. It's weird. <laughs> but basically it's she's she knows what ev- a bunch of people do and then when she talks to people and hears what they need, she says, I know who can fill that void is this guy. She mm-hmm. makes a connection and walks away. That person is going to be happy because they had their needs needs met, uh-huh. but that comes tandem with Amber Stoneman's <laughs> name. Well, I'm like, so oh, they the need future, an electrician. Oh, cool. Right, right, well, right. I know someone. Yeah, it's ran- Sometimes it's very random. Yeah. Um, but whatever it is, somebody's like, oh, I need. Well, that's what happens in the entrepreneur world. You know, a lot of outside. people are freelancers, and a lot of people are in the same kind of struggle yeah. as far as running a business. So, like networking with those people. Because you're all coming up together, too. That's what the cool thing is about is you're building friendships with other businesses and brands that are coming up together. Mm -hmm. And actually, you 
help and influence each other to come up. So it's cool to kind of build just like an artist builds their click. Um, entrepreneurs do the same thing, you know, yeah. and building your click and raising that yeah. up. So networking. So what do you think um, constitutes as a networking event? Like what what should people be like in the frame of mind of networking for? Like what? What all you know? Make yeah. makes up like parties or shows. I was gonna what? say that networking should be it should exist in every single social, social atmosphere yeah. that you've yeah. ever been in. Yeah. And the and the reason is is because um, networking begins with hearing a person's story. Mm. Um, there's a quote that I love that is um, um, I actually have it written down here. Um, think people not positions yeah and that's is to say that the person that you're talking to don't see him as a ceo see him as you know some guy from oklahoma that loves nascar and twinkies you know yeah. something yeah, yeah. Uh, specific about that person is going to help uh, make a connection mm -hmm. rather than they'll know if you're looking at them as an opportunity and your iphone you can you have notes <laughs> and add yeah. a contact and you can like note uh just some tidbits like Angela has a three month old little girl named Jessica. And right. so when mm. you're reaching out, it, of course, reaching out in like a personal way. So, you, I mean, my brain can't remember the lives of everyone, but my phone can remember some details oh, yeah. that are not going to change that I, can, thinking. that I can check yeah. in on them personally, because that's another thing when you're reaching out it, and it has to be true and genuine and sincere, but I truly do want to reach out to my network and be like, hey, how's it going? Like, how's that project that that we were talking about that you were going to work on? And how, how's that been going so far? And, and what do you need? What do you need to make it happen? So I think uh, just, again, it's it's these fine little details about people that you're just building a relationship with, just like you would build a friendship around common things, you know? Our yeah. producer, Casey, was we had, had brought up a, a good point before we, before we uh, got on air, and he was, when we were talking about the physical networking thing, and he said... Um, uh, be sure to point out how you're being perceived. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's a really important thing. If you know that you have bad breath, like <laughs> bring mints, man. Yeah, I know, right? Like, or if you don't know, mints might be a good idea. Over, like, or, oh, yeah, it's a great way to yeah, offer yeah, somebody yeah, something. Shield. Yeah, you can't go you're, wrong. You're going to brand that person with like, oh my God, that's horrible. Yeah. But then also, I mean, you've got that aspect of things. Don't come in being a diva or a douche because those two things are memorable too. And I know, I'm not going to say the band's name because I'm going to keep it classy, but we were at an event Maybe at Mercy classic. Lounge. <laughs> Flashback. We were at an event at Mercy Lounge and this band, we had, we had walked up to them and we're like, whoa, we actually did, we had never seen you guys live. We were here for our, some of our alumni but you guys are really good. Are you independent? And then they're like, yeah. So we were like, hey, can we get you guys an interview over here on the red carpet? And so they actually started to really be kind of a little bit combative uh, with getting on the camera and they didn't know if they had time. And then, yeah, it was just kind of a weird exchange. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. I'll uh, yeah, be right yeah, back. Yeah. And so yeah, kept okay. pushing back the time. And sure. we had other artists that we were about to interview, but they just kept pushing us back. And we're like, bro, I, okay, at this point, I see that you're being a douche. You're being a big old <laughs> effing douche right now because, like, I feel you, like I would just moved on. No, like, okay, no, so actually, you're... and yeah. I was yeah. just like, I didn't say anything like super rough, but I did kind yeah. of I mean, lay down yeah. the law. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't. Well. I wasn't a pushover. Move along, yeah. Like, <laughs> she's spunky. She's just spunky. so you guys know, I wasn't a pushover. But I think the important thing is that. It, <laughs> oh no, she is spunky. <laughs> it's just kind of understanding, Leo. Just, you know, how you're coming off, um, and sometimes you, you you might not even realize how how you're coming mm -hmm. off. Yeah. You know what I mean? you're in a so, bad mood. And the know? easiest way to not come off the wrong way is stop talking. Yeah. Ask questions listening. and yeah. let the other person talk. Damn. You know, there's actually a lot of um, really good channels on uh, on YouTube, um, just like self-help channels. If, if you have a hard time with like um, understanding how people are taking you, because yeah. a lot of people, or not a lot of people, some people don't have that... Um, that kind of charisma and like skill to, right. yeah to see how yeah. they're being perceived they just kind of like oh i just kind of burst through the the world like yeah. a, you yeah. know like a bull in a china shop um <laughs> there's a lot of uh, there are resources that will help you actually um break down how people are taking you yeah. and like 
you could use some coaching. Um, well, get out and there. Get out there. Ask your friends. I think like, everybody could use a, a layer of that regardless. Like, yeah. And if you're a friend, like as you're networking and weaving in and out, if you notice things about your other friend, like give some constructive criticism, bro. Like you're not a friend if you're not doing that, you yeah. know? But I think a very important thing that we had missed at the beginning before going to a networking event, you should have business cards before mm -hmm. you go to a networking yep. event. You gotta be ready. And I think it's it's very important to pay attention to detail on your cards um, because the cards that we have for Nashville Unsigned, when we've given those away, people are literally so impressed that they're like, whoa, what they is this? They must be this? credible because what is this? It, it feels nice, it's silky, it's got like, you know, don't, if you have a if if you're printing your business cards on perforated Avery things that you stop bought, it. I mean just, just stop. stop it. Just Get out stop. of Kinkos. Just ask for a business card. Get out of Kinkos, right? <laughs> Don't now. embarrass yourself. Yeah, and and somebody that does some of our cards, um, eighty five Supply, who's actually Trevor, who owns it, was from class two two with the band Tramps. Tramps. Yeah. So full circle, how all that works. But eighty five Supply dot com. If you guys do need business cards, they are the masters with that, and they can really make it fit your brand really well. But yeah, it's you, a part of your brand. It, you got to really do it. Demonstrates. And you got to collect cards. Yeah. <laughs> like Patrick yeah. Um, is speaking a firm of the network queen <laughs> of collecting cards. This, this is, is only get. one of many bags that I have. Yeah, that's true. Um, kind of a cool little tip and trick is separate uh, the business cards and bags of different events that you met these at, and so when you follow up, you can. You know, talk about the event. That, and the other thing is follow at. up the night of or the next day. Yeah. Mm. Do not wait a week. If you get um, a that. business <laughs> card from somebody, <laughs> um, you know, she was yeah, saying, take, like, I've done is, that. Put, a, yeah. put a note in your phone, right? Um, that's also a really great networking tip to open your email with one of those details, right? So if she, like said, was, you know, you're talking about Oh, the yeah. daughter oh, named the whoever or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, writing down a detail about something specific detail of their life and then using that to open your email already puts you on a friend level. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And as you're networking, too, I think a really cool tool is that notepad on your phone. Um, because as you're networking, sometimes I'll, I'll meet somebody and I'll take a card, but I won't have a pin where I can kind of write down some details or whatever, but mm -hmm. I'll be logging like after I won't do it like while I'm standing right here and they're like, bro, are you texting while you're like trying to know with me? Perspective. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, you definitely, definitely need to, um, jump in and just make sure that you are utilizing things like the notepad and taking mm -hmm. details and bringing a business card. I think those are really important so resources. I have, I have a question. Yes. So, okay, let's, uh, let's give a hypothetical situation here. I'm a um, I'm a new artist. I'm like super new. I just like I've been playing guitar all of my life, hypothetically, <laughs> and uh, I I'm decided I want to make you know something at it. Um, so I just moved to Nashville. Um, I'm just starting, but I'm a little nervous to get started. What are some practical um, tips we could give that specific that individual? That's like, okay, I'm, I'm a little nervous because I'm, I'm not used to doing this. I'm like, maybe I'm an artist. Maybe I'm like the creative type that mm -hmm. well, I think has spent most of my out of, time. Out of all the cities probably in the United States, the easiest place to network would mm -hmm. be Nashville. And I'm going to tell you why. Because live shows in other cities are usually one or two artists or something like that. Yeah. In Nashville, there are songwriting rounds. Right. Where there's literally like five right. artists on stage. So yeah. go practice, right? Yeah. You start at like like a small little like people are actually round. receptive. Yeah. To yeah. New go screw music. up number one, number two, <laughs> yeah. number three, number four, but at least you got five chances that night, yeah. right? And yeah. the more yeah. that you learn, um, I think it's it's really important. But just figuring out what places the people that you want to meet will would be hanging out, yeah, right, and yeah, definitely. To, Where to you're comfortable hanging yeah, out, yeah, and and know? that comes from asking questions, mm -hmm. right, and so pushing your comfort zone. I'd say, sure, yeah, like sure. you know, like okay, that's like step one, right? You're like, I'm nervous, but I'm going to do this anyways, and uh, make yourself look stupid. Yeah, if you, if you want stupid. it, like, dude. I, yeah, the guy that times. falls at the party, everybody remembers. If you're hungry, right? <laughs> if you're hungry for exactly. it, you'll push your. The most growth happens in the most uncomfortable situation. Yeah. So you definitely need to push yourself in that uncomfortable situation because you yeah. never know every single networking event that I've ever been to, there's been that one person that I was supposed to meet, you yeah. know? Yeah. And so that's how you have to look at it. Like everyone that you meet, there's you're, you've met them for a reason. So it's just uncovering yeah. 
what the reason is. Right. And people and are people. The more you ask, they're just the more like, you know. They're just like you. Yeah. In, in a lot of ways. <laughs> so, and I <laughs> think too, way. and we're going to, um, we'll have uh, another episode launching around digital community, but I do want to touch on that for a quick second mm-hmm. is just, you're probably going to build friends digitally that you've never met before. So maybe start pulling in your digital friends and tag them in these networking events yeah. and be like, hey, let's go together. See where they're going and enjoy so Maybe along. start to get your yeah. feet wet. Maybe go with somebody yeah, and yeah. then you can start getting comfortable in a way that you know a lot of people at every networking event. So you're like, I can totally roll up in this beast by myself. You yeah, know? yeah. I usually get feeling net- like a boss. I usually go to networking events with Amber and then after about a minute after I meet the person, I say I have to go to the bathroom and then she brags about about me <laughs> <laughs> you need a wingman is yeah, what they're saying right, you right? need a good wingman it's like, yeah. i know you're over there just hype man all day like, hype man the funny thing about like pushing your boundaries is like a you want to continue to do so but that's because b you're going to get used to it mm-hmm. once you start pushing the boundary then it's not it's no longer a boundary you're like past it um, and once you're there, then like problem solved, man. Like, yeah. Or or woman, do it. So, like, do your thing. Networking events. So some places to go, like physical events. So hit up networking events in your city. I mean, for us, for Nashville, like Young Entertainment Professionals does their mixers. You've got mm. um, Home that does networking events out and jam nights out there. You've got. You know, like it yeah, could Nashville be Nashville and sign shows. Nashville and sign shows, <laughs> duh. Uh, yeah, we. Got uh, I don't know how I forgot up. that one. Yeah. Um, but actually, we've branded our shows to be networking, which yeah. meeting friends, meeting other music-based businesses, meeting other artists, meeting fans, mm-hmm. but just who working your way around the room just to under, better understand people. But mm-hmm. networking events in your city, Nashville and sign shows, that's a good uh, one. Any. any- any show, like any, any show. concert, you know, yeah. you're going to find um, people who love music, you know, fans and uh, people who are like other bands, you know, you go to like a, like an Under Oath came uh, pretty recently, you know, there's, that's like a whole scene, you know, so there's like probably other like studio musicians, probably people in bands. And you have Nashville. friends that they are other artists that, show, you know? that yeah. have shows. <laughs> yeah. So, so even though, like, them? like you said earlier, like anywhere it could be. Like yeah, literally good. anywhere. And I think like even, you know, you go to a show and it's not a musician or maybe it's not even somebody in the music industry, right? Yeah. But here's mm-hmm. the thing. If you're asking questions and learning the person's story, you might find that, you know, their father or brother or your, their uncle or something like that, like owns a Cracker Barrel. Mm-hmm. And then you say, well, my brand is, you know, modern traditional country so i can use that oh, person yeah. as well do you know what i mean so just learning people you, the, it's gonna rise to the top what's supposed to and you know i'm a man of faith so i believe that like people are put in front of you for a reason yeah. so go in with that confidence and then just just go with it take your hands off the wheel yeah, man. yeah. And just <laughs> that's like, a good just point just talk meet people. Yeah. You know? meet people i mean walk up don't be scared to walk up to these groups these meetups are designed for this stuff. So do know yeah. that. Like yeah, these that's meetups true. are designed to be in clusters yeah. of people and then you're walking up to the group. So a lot of it's people are doing like the same thing. You're they're doing like, it oh, hey, at hey. like, you know, like a wedding or something. And they're like, whoa, bro, like you can't have been. You're harassing someone like, at a grocery store. Why are you store coming at me? You're on like, you know, a five and I need you on a three right now. Yeah. Okay. You're coming in way too hot. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> But yeah, so I mean that that's as to be expected in any shows in Nashville and any shows in general, just get out there and start meeting people. I think that's a huge thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like networking, um, community groups. Um, you've got physical groups, uh, in your community that you may meet people at, you may go to a dance class and just start diving into people's lives. Yeah. I think it'd be, it's also cool. Like making friends of like other people in your genre, because they're like you have a lot of the same potential fans, especially mm-hmm. here in uh, the Nashville space. Um, we have you know have live shows going on all the time, bands of all kinds of genres. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's probably someone who might be into your stuff that like, like hey, you want to maybe open for me at this next show? Um, it's a great way to get get rolling in Nashville for live music. Yeah, and if you want to know where the Nashville Unsigned um, events are on our website, you can just go to the website and there's a calendar right on there that uh, 
Nick and Jared have nashvilleunsigned.com slash events. Holla. There it is. Oh. There it is. Uh, hit them with and then goodness. you can get there and start networking with the people that we've networked with before. And uh, I got to. I got. I got to say, oh, I yeah. love our network. So yeah. it's a pretty good network to uh, <laughs> yeah, start solid. networking with. So get networking. Yeah, I'm come just join us. To say network as many times as I can. <laughs> in the networking episode that we can network uh-huh. in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Physical networking. So definitely, I, I think that it's safe to say the number one thing: get business cards. Maybe pick up the book "How to Win Friends and Influence People." Yeah, shout out Daniel, um, what, Daniel Carnegie. Yeah, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> My um, most important thing state, would be uh, to. Um, Ask questions. Stop talking. Ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. Give. Absolutely. Give first. So. Um, uh, perceive. Like actually pay attention to what mm-hmm. your your surroundings are. And um, you know, here's a really good practical advice. Um, you don't have to smile, but at least like soften your eyes. <laughs> <I know. laughs> like soften your expressions. Like some people get all up in there and like you know I don't. They don't. You have resting bitch you face. Be, you need to be a, you gotta like, do something about it. That's We're gonna mess. that's gonna help the approachability <laughs> level like way. Just like just soften that. If you don't have to be smiling, you don't have to be like hey everybody. You can just you know. Well, interested in what's going on around you. And yeah. people are like, oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah. Be- I bet you everyone that's listening right now is actively softening their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, yeah. It's, it's like a form of yoga, too, because you can like if you can relax your face and you can relax your shoulders and then you're right. a and more always, And you want to you know? open yourself to people. So your, so yeah. your shoulders should be open to the person. And this is the biggest networking. Do not cross right? your arms. Yeah. Do not cross your yeah. arms. That, that, knew, is, that is the most it. closed thing ever. Creed know. style. Do it with again, arms wide open. <laughs> again, man, yeah. a nonverbal cues, not body right. language. I think that's a big thing. Um, jumping in and asking a lot of questions, um, but go in knowing that you're just building friendships. I think that takes a lot of the pressure off. You're just building friendships, and at that point, you're you can sync them up with some somebody that they need and start building the relationship. So, that's great. What about you, Nick? Oh, <clears throat> well, I I always say welcome back. You want to you want to listen to them and see what they want to do. So so what their goals are in life. You want to align your skills with yeah. their goals. So I mean yeah. that's what you're looking for. You want to you want them to be telling you what they're up to. I'm yes. up to this cool project, but yes. man, I sure need a website. And then uh oh, you know, hey, I happen to have some I skills aligned somebody. with that. And then you know everybody has that. So yeah. you know whatever you're good at. There's someone out there that needs you. So what you do is in networking, you go out there, you meet these people, and align with them. That that's beautiful. That's that's beautiful. Fun. Fun. That was beautiful. We don't really have anything <laughs> else to say after that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't have anything. Pretty much my, summed it up my there. headset's off now. It's yeah. fine. So uh, thank drop. you, everybody. <laughs> Subscribe. I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I'm, yeah. I never lose speech, music. but Just it's gone. Play the music. Subscribe. We're out. Sign up for nationalandsign.com uh, slash register. Yeah. And don't forget. Stay tuned uh, for the next episode where we're covering your digital, digital. networking right. presence. Digital networking. How to make Thanks, the guys. net work. We on this piece.